Tonight, the court cases are just beginning for two men accused of murdering six family members in Goshen. Now we're uncovering more about the violent history involving one of the suspects and the victims. Thanks for joining us for Action News Live at 5. I'm Jessica Harrington. And I'm Graciela Moreno. The arraignment for Angel Uriarte was continued today, but we're digging deeper into court documents from his past arrest. Action News South Valley reporter Eliza Navarro is live at the South County Justice Center in Porterville with how one of the victims of the massacre helped send Uyarte to prison nearly nine years ago. Eliza. Jessica, these are court documents I obtained yesterday in the courthouse and in my hand there's 40 pages that go about 40 pages that go into detail about a shooting in 2014 in Goshen involving one of the suspects Angel Uriarte and some of the family members of the Parras family and one of them includes one of the victims who died last month. Since the horrifying night in Goshen on January 16th, the question remains as to why six people were killed, including a 10-month-old baby boy. Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreau confirmed the victim's family and the suspects are in rival gangs, but he also said a specific motive for the shooting is still unknown. Action News obtained court documents showing a past feud involving suspect Angel Uriarte and the Parras family. In 2014, Uriarte was arrested for shooting at the girlfriend of Eladio Parras. It happened in this area of Betty Drive in Goshen, which was the site of the wooden shoe RV park and campground at the time. In the report, Parras told deputies that his family had a, quote, extensive history and feud with Uriarte. He goes on to say that he did not involve himself with the feud any longer, but knew that his nephew and Uriarte did not get along. Parras also said his girlfriend was getting out of his nephew's car when shots were fired. He said he felt whoever shot at his girlfriend was looking for his nephew. After multiple witness interviews, Uriarte was arrested and booked into jail. He pleaded no contest to assault with a firearm and gang enhancement and served five years of a seven-year prison sentence. On the night of the massacre, Sheriff Boudreau says Uriarte went straight for Eladio. We believe that Eladio Perez was killed first. He was shot in the torso and in the leg. Marcos Perez, we believe, was shot second. He was shot in the head. Third was Jennifer Anaya. She was asleep and shot in the head as well. We believe that she was shot in her sleep. Fourth was Rosa Perez. She was found kneeling and was shot in the head. We believe that she was getting out of her bed to check on what was happening. Investigators believe 16-year-old Alyssa Parras and her baby Nicholas were shot last by Noah Beard while trying to escape. The home, now tainted with tragedy and heartache for the Parras family, is also only blocks away from the home where Uriarte lived at the time of his arrest in 2014. Uriarte has not been arraigned. He is still in custody under medical care until he recovers from a gunshot wound he got during an altercation with an ATF agent on the day that he was arrested. Now, in the meantime, Beard was arraigned yesterday. He pleaded not guilty and he's due in court on the 16th. Live in Porterville, Eliza Navarro, ABC 30 Action News.